Another method of representing numerical data, specifically univariate data set, in a graphical display will be our stem plot, also known as the stem and leaf plot. Now, stem plot is a graphical display of numerical data which uses the actual given values or numerical values. Now, we're still using Mrs. Brown's class in this particular list, and this time we're going to use her uh, quiz result in her recent algebra test. Now, these are the scores of her students. So we have 73, 42, 67, and so on, which is basically the list of scores of her algebra class. Now, by just looking at the list, it doesn't make sense if we're just going to look at it with this ungrouped data set. Now, we're going to create a graphical display using a stamp plot in representing Mrs. Brown's algebra quiz result. Now, in this particular example, the reason why it's called the stem and leaf plots is because we have the stem and we have the leaf. Now, the stem is basically the first digit in your um, list of values right here, and the leaf will be the remaining digits. Now, for the first or the lowest scoring grade here in her list, it's 42, with the highest scoring grade of 99. So that means from 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, we're going to use those first digits as our stem. So we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 for our stem. Now for our leaf, all we need to do is, just like uh, constructing a dot plot, we're going to take the next digits and represent it as their leaf. So let's say I have 73, 73, I'll go to 7, and then put 3 right here as my leaf, 42, 4, and then 2, 67, 6, and then 7, and then I have 78 right here, so I'll go to 7, and 3 is already here, so 8 will be on the next space right here, and so on, until I complete my list. So from an ungrouped data set, now we have a statistical graph that we can see, and if you will notice, by looking at the graph, we can pretty much tell that this particular class is a smart class, because most of the students in this particular um, quiz result scored on the 90s. So this is why it's important in statistics that we know how to graph some univariate data set and one of them will be uh, using a stem plot to conveniently graph a uh, group of data set like this one. Now another way on how to enhance your stem and leaf plot or stem plot is to arrange your leaf into an increasing order. So this is what I did right here. So it did not change the behavior of the graph, but this time my numerical values are now in increasing order. So it makes more um, descriptive if we uh, arrange our numbers into into order similar to this one. Now let's have a next, the second example on how to construct a stem plot on an ungrouped data set. Now once again, stem plot is also known as the stem and leaf plot, wherein the stem will be the first digit and our leaf will be the remaining digits. In this particular example, we are using the lists of the number of points Phillips team scored in the last seasons of their basketball game. And these are their scores for that particular season. So we have 78, 75, 84, and so on. Now once again, this is what we call as an ungrouped data, and we're going to use a stem plot to graphically uh, show the behavior of uh, Philip's team in this particular basketball game. So we're going to use the stem, which is 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We're in uh, it represents the first digit in our list of values right here. And then the leaf or the remaining digit will be the second digit in uh, the last season of Phillips basketball game. So if we're going to plot each one of them, we have 56, 67, 75, 77, 78, and so on. And you will see that the distribution are, or the behavior of uh, this particular numerical value shows a skewed distribution, which basically telling us that Philip's team did a pretty good job in uh, this particular season based on their scores. And that is how we construct a stem plot or stem and leaf plot using univariate data set.